Hey everyone, this is Heidi from My Reading Life. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to film my TBR check-in um, for the month of January. So you'll have seen my book haul from January. So you know I brought in a lot of books in the month. Um, so how did I do? I've got my TBR balance sheet right here. I read eight books off my shelf. I brought in 13 books. I unhauled four books. So that leaves me with a plus one for the month, which really I feel is not bad considering how many books I brought in. You know, when you bring in 13 books, if you only end up with a plus one at the end of the month, I count that as success. So overall, the balance of the TBR books at the moment is 147 up from 146. So not bad, not bad. Um, and the majority of my reading in um, January was nonfiction. So that's also pretty exciting. I only read three, well, I read three books of fiction and one poetry um, book. So that, you know, I read a lot of nonfiction. Um, I'm really happy about how my reading went. I'm happy about the books that I cleared off. So how did I do with the books that I picked from these two shelves? Remember, the goal is to read six books from these two shelves per month. These are my old, what I'm calling my old TBR shelves, stuff that's been here for a long time. Um, pre 2019, when I started the booktube channel or 2018. Yeah, pre starting the booktube channel. Let's put that let's put it that way. My old stuff. Um, so I picked six books. If you remember in January, um, I will put a picture up here of the three mass market urban fantasy paperbacks that I DNF'd. I'm just not interested in those any longer. And then I also DNF'd, uh, if you saw one of my recent reads video, I DNF'd a, um, book that was supposedly main humor. Um, I did not find it humorous. So I DNF'd that book. And then I read uh, the two uh, graphic novels, Mouse 1 and Mouse 2. So um, that was six books off these two shelves. So I was successful in that endeavor in January. So what am I going to be working on in February? So February is Black History Month. And also we've started the first round of the BookTube Prize. I am judging nonfiction group A. Um, so definitely going to be reading for uh, book two prize um, and black history month together i'm going to be reading just us by claudia rankine also for book two prize i plan to read surviving autocracy by masha gessen not black history but um still uh, want to get that one done i'm i also will be picking up at some point um in the month for for book two prize i'll be picking up um Obama's A Promised Land. So that is the other book that's in my group. That's the biggest one in my group. And I'm going to be starting that one by mid-month um, in order to get that completed by the end of March. Um, also for Book Naturalist Book Club and for Black History Month, I will be reading The Home Place um, by J. Drew Lanham. Very excited to start that one. And then uh, I've already started the first, I've, re I've started uh, for Black History Month, um, Brown Girl in the Ring on audiobook. I'm buddy reading that with Britta. I've also started Silver Sparrow by Tari Jones. And I want to get to The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind by William Kakwamba, Kamkwamba and Brian Mueller. And then, so what will I be reading off my old TBR, you ask? So I have started um, Three Men in a Boat. To Say Nothing of the Dog by Jerome K. Jerome. This is a uh, classic um, from the late 1800s. Yeah. Originally published in 1889. Um, this is British humor. So you're following these three young men who are rowing this boat up the Thames, I believe is the Thames. Um, and so it's sort of like vignettes. It's like their chapters, their individual, individual, individual chapters, but each chapter has a bunch of like little vignettes in them. And these three dudes are like just, they're they're so inept <laughs> in everything they do, but they're like young gentlemen, right? And, but they're just so inept. And so they're constantly getting themselves into scrapes and doing silly things. And the dog just looks on sort of um, with disgust <laughs> at what they get up to. There's also some, oh my God, that was the cat just jumping over my head to the bed. Whew, that was startling. Um, 
there's some bit about British history in there as well. So I am over halfway done with this one. So this one's coming off the old TBR. I then have picked um, a book that fits in with Black History Month. So I picked On Beauty by Zadie Smith. Um, I don't know, this is a chunker. This is like over 440 pages long. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know how that one will go or not. I've been craving some YA fantasy, so I'm going to try Shiver from Maggie Stivater. Stivater? Um, and I think, I don't know, it's like werewolves and a love story. I don't really know anything else about it but that. We're going to try it and see what we think. Um, and then I picked up uh, from my old TBR, American Wife. I want to try. This is by Curtis Sittenfeld. Um... So I've been reading The Evangelicals, not quite finished with that book yet. That's going to continue on into February. But I'm currently in the middle of the chapter on George Bush. Um, and this book is a novelization of um, an American president's wife. Like they're, you know, before they're, before he achieves the presidency and like when they meet and their younger years and then what the wife is putting up with, like her, how she has to... Um, accommodate his political ambitions and I think this is based on uh George W. Bush and Laura Bush so um I've been really wanting to get to that one I've heard that it's a really good book so I'm gonna try that one now I haven't picked out the other two that are gonna come off the shelf so it'll have a total of six those are really um some of those are really chunky and I have a lot of books that I want to be reading this month so I'm probably gonna pick something shorter and or quicker read like maybe um, what one of these mass market romances, those, that would be fast. Um, I also may try this book here. This is a short story collection. Oh, oh, don't fall. Uh, this is a short story collection. Um, the Kane Prize for African Writing. I've had this one for quite a long time. Um, look, I've already started. I'm on page 78. That's what my bookmark is. So I may pick this one back up. Um, but the text is really cramped, so maybe not. I don't know. I have to pick something that I can, like, legitimately read, right? Or that's something that I think I'm not going to like, so I can DNF it. Not going to lie, I'm just keeping it real with you guys. Um, so that's where I'm at for thinking for my TBR um, in February. Lots of great reading ahead. I'm excited for my Black History Month picks. I'm excited for my Book 2 prize reading. I'm excited that I actually achieved the goal in January of reading six books off my old TBR. Um, and I'm hoping to keep the momentum going with that. We'll see. Um, anyway, that's it for me today. This is my TBR check-in. I hope you're all doing well and finding some great books to read. And I will talk to you later.